Hi there, it's uh, t what is it, 22 hours on the second day of the sales live. Uh, I checked it earlier, around about 8 o'clock this morning, and we have a short circuit, and it had 60 milliamps. Uh, where's the lead gone? <laughs> Found it. It was hiding. All right, we'll do a short circuit. Put some light on the situation. We're on the 200 milliamp range. Short circuiting. We're down to 30. I'll just clamp it. Now we're getting 35. So that's dropping as the day. Because this morning it was uh, 60 on a short circuit. But we're gonna charge it up for 33 minutes and leave it idle until tomorrow and see what's actually in the cell. So I'll connect the power supply. It's turned on. So it's only had three charges so far. This will be the fourth charge and we're going to leave it overnight. Starting the monitoring. Okay, we've got 260 milliamps at the moment and 3.15 volts. It seems to be up on the voltage. I haven't touched the dial. Just electrolytes all the way through it, I think. But it's still making bubbles. Okay, I'll get back when it's finished charging. We can look at the curve and then we'll wait a while till tomorrow sometime to discharge the cell. I don't think it will hold, but it might hold some. Okay, somewhat missed that. We're 38 minutes into a charge, so I'll just stop that, disconnecting power supply. This is the fourth charge. Started off around about 250 milliamps, and only went down to probably 220 in that time or something. Alright, so we won't worry about discharging this until sometime tomorrow. It's holding at 2.2 now, but I'd say it's probably about 1 tomorrow. We'll see. Alright, till then. Hi there. Back after 24 hours. It is now 7.27. We left off yesterday at 7.25 with a 38 minute charge. I haven't got it connected yet, so I'll just connect it and we'll see. I haven't even peeked at the thing, so I don't know what voltage it's going to be. Okay, it's only 0 0.7. Not very good, but it has been 24 hours. I don't think it's going to run too long on 30 milliamps. So here goes. Oh, pretty much stopped. I'll drop the cutoff voltage. Well, that was uh, disappointing, but it is a capacitor. It will dissipate its power. I was thinking thoughts on that. I was thinking one of the electrode needs to be completely covered in the um, paper towel membrane, maybe. Alright, so we'll go 1 volt, oh, 0.1 volt, and we'll see if it runs. Alright, 30 milliamps is too much. We'll try 10. Okay, we got 10 milliamps after 24 hours. I haven't touched the cell, it's just been sitting there. It's still clean. So it's still doing it 10 milliamps, but we're not going to have a lot in there.
So I'll try to do a 12 hour one next time and see. I don't even have any measurement. So that's the cell after 24 hours after being charged up. Hmm. I like the cell being charged. <laughs> well, it's still going. Hmm. We haven't even, we don't have any capacity yet. There we go, cut off. Right, that's a zero in power wise. So I'll um, give it a couple more charges to see if the cell is functioning. And we'll see what we get after being, it's the third day as well. So the membranes and all that are totally soaked with electrolyte. Okay, I'll be back starting charge number five. And we're at 200 milliamps. We're a bit down, I think, from the other day. Voltage is around about the same on the analog meter. And on the multimeter, 2.93 up there. Okay, I'll give it 33 minutes. I'll try to. Charge number five. I don't know what happened here, I wasn't in the room. And the voltage sort of dropped as it was as well. So we got 33 minutes on a charge and we're ready for, oh no, I'll put us on 50 milliamps. And cut off voltage, four, nine. All right, starting number five down discharge. Alright, the cell looks okay. We're at 50 milliamp discharge. So it just doesn't hold charge over long periods of time. that do its thing and we'll see where we get. It should be somewhere near 60 milliamps, I mean 60 milliwatt hours going by the last three half hour update on run number five. We're at 47 milliwatt hours, half hour, oh, 32 minutes, 33 and 1.3 volts. That's not too bad for the cell, it's a 50 milliamp load. So I'll say we get our 60 again by the looks of that. So improvements in a wet cell. Somewhat. Alright, I will be back with the next update. Okay, we got 60 milliwatt hours, 200 or something. But it's not too bad, I think it ran for 50 minutes last time. So I'll give it a few more charges and see how it goes. Should still be good for another 15 charges at least, hopefully. Alright, I'll be back with some updates later. This is uh, this will be discharge number 6. It's um, been sitting idle for around about 13 hours. I charged, charged it up somewhere about 9 o'clock last night. It's 10.35 a.m. now, and um, I'll connect the power to the, I mean, I'll connect the cell. Oh, I don't think we're connected. Where are we? Oh, yeah, we're down to one volt after 12 hours. So we'll attempt a 30 milliamp draw on a 12-hour idle cell. No, nope, we're dropping right off. I'll change this. To one volt, point one volt. Q 
Okay, somewhat running, 30 milliamp load. At least we have a um, value, and we're very low on value. So it's not even holding its power for 12 hours or 13. I'm pretty sure one of the um, electrodes needs to be completely covered. Yeah, so we didn't even get that much on that. Okay, all right, so um, I'll keep charging till the 20th charge or I might get past the 20 and then I might pull the cell apart, add three more layers each side of carbon and wrap one electrode in a um, complete membrane and we'll see what happens. But that's after the 20 charges. We want to get to 20 charges in the current cell's state. All right, I'll be back with updates. Okay, charge number seven, don't know what's going on here. It was only for 20 minutes at 3 volts. The charger is off. We're at 2.2 um, volts. Got a 50 milliamp load. Cut off voltage 0 0.49 volts. Starting test now. This is discharge number 7. The other charges were 33 minutes. This one's a 20, so we'll see what the difference is. Seems to be holding its two volts. Should hold two volts. Or it was holding two volts for two minutes last night. But I don't think we're gonna get it, so we may need that extra charge. No, we didn't make a minute. Cell's still looking okay. No signs of damage. I'm pretty sure one of the electrodes needs to be completely covered in this scenario. Because this cell was holding 60 milliamps the next day after 12 or 13 hours. Even longer. So I've got a membrane drying at the moment. It won't be until... Uh, Wondering if we should do the 20 charges or we should just wrap it now and see the difference. But nah, I want to add the extra pieces to see if it um, adds to the power density as well. I want to add three more home carbons and three more manganese dioxide carbon sheets to the cell. That should theoretically take it to 120 milliwatt hours maybe, only guessing. But it's three extra sheets both sides. That's if it is accumulative. <clears throat> Alright, I'll let this one do its thing and uh, I'll get back. Load test number seven is almost over. It sort of gets to this point and it drops rapidly. We're only at 34 milliamp milliwatts for 20 minute charge. So the extra 13 minutes seems to do, do a lot, like 30 milliwatt hours extra. I'll do another cell directly after, I mean another charge directly after this one. This, I'll do a 33 minute charge to see if the cell's not declining. Right, we've just ran out. So we only got 27 minutes on a 20 minute charge. Alright, I'll save this chart, set up another charge for 33 minutes and we'll see what we get for the results on number 8 charge. Charge curve number 8. We sort of, we made it to 3.1 volts this time and we went back up to 200 milliamps. Okay, we're all ready for a discharge. I've got the leads all swapped over. And starting discharge number 8. Now, hopefully we hold 2 volts for 2 minutes. <clears throat> this was the 33 minute charge at 3 volts it managed to climb up to 3.1 volts the cell seems to be holding its voltage well so it does sort of like a um, 33 minute charge. 
But the charge curve sort of is all over the place. I'm not sure if that's correct or well, what's going on there. Cell temperature is 28, ambient table 30, so it's still cool, the cell's not overheating. 28.7, table 29.8. Hmm. So we're not overly creating heat in that cell. Well, we've got our minute at 2 volts, we're coming up to the 2 minute mark. So it does like that extra charge, I guess, or it holds a lot longer. So we should be back on schedule for our 60 milliwatt hours again. Yep, we got our two minutes for two volts. Alright, I'll let that um, do its thing and I'll do some updates after lunch. Halfway update on number eight discharge. It, um, it's holding its voltage quite well. We're at 33 milliamp uh, milliwatts already. That's exceeded the last charge. Wonder if it's due to back-to-back -back charging and leftover energy still in the cell because we're cutting it out at 0.49 volts. But that doesn't explain the other first few charges where we got the 60 milliwatt hours. Hmm, so maybe it does like the extra charge, just the charge graph looks bizarre. <laughs> okay, so we're at oh, just over halfway, I guess. we will probably get to one volt and just start heading right down. Alright, I'll update later. Load test number 8 has finished. We didn't quite get our 60. We're only 59 milliwatt hours. And bounce back is 1.4. It ran for 47 minutes. We're 3 minutes shy of the 50 minute. Uh, I'll do another charge and see if that improves. Could be on the slight decline maybe. Charge curve number 9. 35 minutes sort of went over the time. I'm scrapping ceiling fans just for a bit of copper. <laughs> Alright, we're ready for a number 9 discharge at 50 milliamps. Starting now. Ah, okay, we're slightly up again. 2.1 this time. It would normally be 2.0 something. So we may get our 3 minutes this time. We're at 0.11, so it is slightly up a bit more. Maybe it can take a bit longer charge. We'll see if it gets its 59 or 60 milliamps this time. The cell's temperature is... Hit 30 degrees the cell has, but we're at 32 ambient, and that wall will be. Hey, the wall's cooler than the desk for some reason. <clears throat> Laptop's always hot. We got our minute. Where we get our two. The cell is still clean after nine charges. It's still bubbling though. The copper plates don't seem to be getting um, affected by anything, so the aridite 
is holding up. Looks like we're getting some color change at the tips of that membrane. The cell has a funny smell. Two minute mark and we're still above that. Two volts. And we're a fifty milliamp load. That's day four of the cell. I only had the one charge yesterday, I think, maybe two. Oh, we got our three minutes at two volts. Can we go for four minutes? We're getting a record. I think I got that three kilos from seven ceiling fans of copper and a massive blister from the side cutters. So I was averaging 15 minutes to get to the copper for each um, ceiling fan. And if you wanted the bearings, an extra five minutes, so 20 minutes all up. Eh, not too bad, I guess. I'm gonna see if I can melt them into ingots, maybe, if I can get a crucible. Oh, four minutes at two volts. Only the ninth charge and discharge now. There's some black particles floating around now. Bits off the end perhaps are breaking off. I'm not sure where it's coming from. Probably is edges of the um, material. Oh, we have five minutes and look at it. It's holding 2.001. Okay, there we go, we got five minutes. All right, I'll um, update shortly. 32 minute update. We're at 49 milliwatt hours, 1.4 volts. And looking not too bad. Okay. Just a quick update on that dry cell version. I um, pulled it apart and it is, it leaped under the electrical tape around the sides and went under the back. So I think majority of the cell's dysfunction was due to that corroding away both sides. Oh, that's one side front. That's the other side's front. Sort of a silver colour, that one. And it's back the same, tarnished. Not as bad as the positive side. That's totally, nothing would go through that point. 
It's going to be hard to clean up, maybe. I'm going to have to sand them down. I'm going to turn these two into, um, same as the other wet cell tubs, and I'll put six layers on this cell instead of changing that cell. That should be a better idea. At least we can get two cells and link them up later, maybe. And this cell's still going good. It's 54 milliwatt hours, and it was only, wasn't very long ago from the update. So we're looking good. We've only got six more milliwatt hours, and uh, we're at 1.3, so I think we'll make that. I'll be back anyway with the update. Okay, it just finished, and we got 71 milliwatt hours out of it in 57 minutes so that's somewhat not too bad I'll um, give it another run I'll save this curve and we'll see if we get the same okay charge number 10 we went for 38 minutes accidentally that's our curve it's looking sort of smooth smoother than some curves. I've got that saved. We're ready for a discharge and we're holding 2.2 and the load is 50 milliamps. So we have to see if it gets 73 milliwatt hours again. So, so far after the tenth charge here it's looking good. going to drop perhaps here. Last time we got five minutes above two. Oh, I forgot to show the copper collector plates as well from the dry cell. They're quite damaged. That was the side contacting the carbon pad. So it's totally oxidized. Wonder why the cell wasn't working in the end. But this cell actually held for a couple of days with 60 milliamps. So that's wondering why. I was thinking that cell there needs to be totally wrapped. I've got the other cell gluing. So we'll have two cells but one slightly different constructed and I'm going to put the six carbon sheets either side of that one. We're still looking good, we're at 2 minutes and 2 volts, 50 milliamp draw. I will probably post this video after this charge as well, might be getting too long. So this is day four still. We've got three minutes at two volts, two more minutes to beat that other cell, I don't know if we're going to make that. The last run was five minutes at two volts. I 
think the voltage on the charge was somewhat down a little bit this time. So we'll get our four minutes holding well. Nope, a fraction off, off of the last run. Uh, so I predict probably about 65 milliwatt hours. I'll get back in about a half hour if I time it well enough. Half hour into number 10 charge, we're at 48 milliwatt hours. I think we might be down a bit maybe, going by the last time. And we're at 1.4 volts. So it's still looking okay. Yeah, probably be back at 44, maybe 50 minutes. Okay, discharge number 10, 73 milliamps again. Not too bad of a run. And, well, how many? One hour it made it to. So, um, I'll update this lot of um, tests. And uh, thanks for watching.